Hello everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Small is Powerful. Um, my name is Emily Brownley. I'm the Communications and Events Manager at the Institute. Um, I'd just really like to welcome you all here today. The Schumacher Institute is an independent research organisation. Uh, we work on interconnected social, environmental and economic issues. We use systems thinking as a tool to tackle the complexity of these issues. Um, so what is systems thinking? I could be here all day explaining that. I'm going to give it a shot in under 30 seconds, so wish me luck. Um, it's the prevailing way of seeing the world is as a machine. It can be taken apart, easily understood and analysed, but we all know that that isn't the case. Our planet is a complex, messy and sometimes unknowable place. Systems thinking recognises this and tries to understand the world as a series of interrelated systems. Solutions can be found to the challenges we face, but only with an understanding of the complexity of the systems in which we're trying to intervene. So with this in mind, we conduct research, test in action, um, and from this we run learning programmes, events, projects and consultancy, all seeking and promoting solutions for a fairer and more sustainable world. From 2009 to 2013, we ran a project called Converge, which rethought globalisation in light of planetary limits. Or in other words, um, can we create a world where everyone gets their fair share of resources while we protect the planet? So no, no small task. The project, as you may guess, was inspired by the Global Commons Institute concept of contraction and convergence, which outlines how industrialised nations need to reduce their emissions, while developing countries continue to increase theirs while they develop quality of life. The Converge project extended this principle, though, across a range of factors, like natural resources, energy, governance, and the human well-being. Um, as you may have guessed, we are inspired by E.F. Schumacher, the renowned economist best known for Small is Beautiful. We would like to welcome the members from the Schumacher Circle today, um, which is a long-running and loose affiliation of organisations all inspired or founded by E.F. Schumacher. And they cooperate to support each other's work informally. As you can see, it's quite the range of organisations. We have the Chavika Trust, the Schumacher Society, Centre for Alternative Technology, New Economics Foundation, the Schumacher College, Practical Action, Soil Association, Researchers and Ecologists Magazine, Green Books, and the Schumacher Institute. Um, we'd like to say thank you to all the speakers who've joined us today from those organisations, and you can hear more about them later when they talk. We're also really excited to welcome two individuals today who have taken EF Schumacher's work, uh, ideas and using in their own work. Um, that is Adam Lent from Ashoka um, and Helena Norbo Hodge from Local Futures both of whom you'll hear more from later. This event actually started as a potential evening seminar with Adam Lent to explore the book he is currently writing called Small is Powerful, why the era of big government, big business and big culture is over and why that is a good thing. We were really enthused by Adam's work, so this kind of evening seminar quickly developed into this day of talks with all of the different Schumacher organisations. Um, we use the title of Adam's book because it works on two levels. One, the power that thinking small or human scale can offer to the sustainability movement. But also, two, the power of Schumacher's work and the fact that it still resonates after 40 years and there are organisations still using his ideas to try and tackle the social, economic, environmental injustice that we struggle to find answers for. But we didn't want to just hear about the issues, we hear about those all the time. We wanted to share the achievements of these organisations and explore how they've actually already started to create the sustainable change that we want. But one of our core values is shared learning and we hope that you leave today inspired and invigorated by some of the examples that you hear. In a blog that Adam wrote for us, he said, Fritz Schumacher would see our world as one where both the threats and opportunities to address those threats have expanded exponentially since the 1970s. This would be a great source of frustration to him, but as a determined optimist, I think he would also regard it as a great source of hope. Working for sustainability can be draining and exhausting. Um, we wanted this day to be realistically optimistic, or at least not so pessimistic that we all go home feeling like we're working for a lost cause. 
We've all been to those and it's really no way to start a weekend. <laughs> One of my favourite quotations from Schumacher, and I think echoes the optimism that Adam referenced, is, I certainly never feel discouraged. I can't myself raise the winds that might blow us or the ship into a better world, but I can at least put up the sails so when the wind comes, I can catch it. Um, the organisations that we will hear from today are putting up the sails and they are getting ready for a day when we no longer have to put up with things like this. Um, that is a <laughs> presidential candidate, ladies and gentlemen, uh, which is very uplifting. Um, I realise today is a full-on programme. Um, you can blame Schumacher for inspiring so many organisations. Um, but we have scheduled long breaks at lunch and in the afternoon, so please do mingle, talk to people, share ideas. Um, and um, we want this to be a two-way dialogue as much as possible, so tweet your challenges, questions, thoughts to us um, using our Twitter handle um, and hashtag. If you don't have Twitter, come and throw your challenges at us, we'll, we'll be welcoming them. Um, and uh, there will be Q&A at the end of every session. Um, so thank you, and I really hope that you enjoy the day.